Good morning, modern steaders. Hope everybody had a happy, healthy New Year's. Uh, when I woke up this morning, it was 32 degrees out and snowing. And last night, it was 25 degrees out and raining. Can you explain that one to me? <laughs> oh, science. We didn't lose our power, which I'm glad to say that. Morning, moose and ladies. They're starting to come out. We're supposed to get some more snow today, but not too much, which will be nice. Good morning to you too, Tanner. Crazy dog. You can't stay inside and cry. You gotta at least come out if you're gonna do that. I know, I keep reading in the comments, Al, you need to put a roof over that. It's true, but if we put a roof on it, then the goats are going to climb on the roof, and then they're going to get on the roof and get over the fence. So, we'll probably end up moving the location. I'm just not sure where we're going to stick it. I like it here, at least in the winter time. Just the snow and the ice. It doesn't mix well. It would just be easier if the weather cooperated. And we didn't have any snow or ice. Right? Morning, girls. They're loving that new feeder system. Hey, there's three empty spots. You'll figure it out one of these days. Girls, ready for your hay? I'm gonna go out yonder. And break some ice. There you go, Hope. What do you think of that snow? A little crunchy? You're the leader. I'm missing one. There's one pile. There's two piles. I'll give them three today. Actually, I think we got four. Look at that. You ladies are getting spoiled. There you go, Hope, you get your own. Good morning, Figaro. We see you sneaking down the fence line. Up on the perch. Uh-oh, Figaro scare you. Hope's like, nah. They all left you, Hope. You better hurry up. Martin Figaro. We're coming, we're coming. Good morning. Whoa! Didn't want to wait, did you? There you go. I hear you, Figaro. Where are you? Oh, you're right behind me. You snuck up on me. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Crazy cat. Oh! The old winter ice out stomp. Daily activity. We gotta decide on what names we're gonna name you. We have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. We have Tick, we have Talk, we have Donald and Daffy. There was Goose and something else.
All right, I expect five eggs today, ladies. Waiting for us. You ready to go back in? What do you hear? He's on high alert. Yeah, he was just on two feet. Then we got penguin. Oh! oh. <laughs> what is it? And then he purrs. Oh, a silly cat. What do you see over there? Today we want to start framing up the sides and see how far we can get. Kind of give it a quick layout to figure out which way we want to go. So we're going to need a couple of 2x4s cut at 38. And then boom, boom. Just want to make sure our edges are all flushed up. Like so. All right, and then we need Let's see what we have lying around that we can use up. All right, so that one can't be a long one, but we'll use it somewhere else. All right, these can be 57s. Are any of these long enough for a 38? Uh, no, 28. No 38s. Let's start with our 28s and an 8th. All your feathers. <laughs> I like it.
yourself. Uh oh. What's that? Uh oh. Flush. more cut so we can stop building our sidewalls. Got a good twist in it. I wonder if we'll be able to suck it in or not. The main reason I'm using screws is if we're going to be dragging the smoker around, the screws will stay in place better. Frame and nails over time could loosen up a little bit. Gina got a staple in the finger. She's trying to find a band-aid. Did you find a band-aid? That's good. Back here. Right there. How many are we at? I cut all the 38s and. Perfect timing. Okay. Watch out, thank you. It's gotta be cute. We don't want a cute looking smokehouse. We want a manly looking smokehouse. Bury it. Bury it? Yeah. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go back here.
Nice. That's 35 and 3 eighths. Is that the first measurement? Yeah, that's 3 eighths. I'll need one at 31. Let's see. This one should be the same, but you never know. 31 and a 16th. 31? 31, thank you. And that's all we have for screws. Just enough. Perfect. Let's get some more to do the roof. You still think it's cute? Yeah. It's manly. Okay. It's manly. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be nice and rugged once it's all together, so when you drag it around, you won't have to worry about it coming apart. It's so cute. It's so cute. Uh, I guess as long as you like it, that's all that matters.
Oops. And how many eggs? Uh, three. Three. Oh, we should have brought the new license plates out, Livy's, but we didn't. Maybe tomorrow. We keep saying that. Did you say how many eggs? Three. Four. That's how many we have. I want to four. And two of them are from Easter egg layers. And one of them is way out of shape. Must have got stuck. Look at that silly thing. Doing some hopping there, Tanner, or what? The boys are being quiet. I guess I shouldn't say that too loud. Oh boys, I hear you, but I don't see you. You must be back inside belly aching. Got it squawking. Yeah. Over to the feeder. You lead the way, I'll follow. Hope, you covered in shavings. You napping? I was oh, you girls were napping, weren't we're you? They're all chewing their cud. Come all, on. All of them. Willow we'll, and Little Man were too. We'll get some fresh hay out here for you. <laughs> You'll be the first one, Hope. You know, you can get off the trail. Whoops! That's just Tanner. I think that was their favorite one this morning. Was that the favorite spot this morning on top of Goat Mountain? Huh. Careful. Hope everybody agrees we should get you a friend from Arizona shipped up here. We got you, no, you were born in January. When did we get you? So we got you in March or April? So maybe May we'll get another one? Wouldn't that be exciting? She's like, nah, I got my own hay right now. I'm gonna make some blueberry pie today. That's Al's favorite. And he's gonna make some homemade whipped cream because he's better at that. Um, I'm gonna do two a top and a bottom crust, so I have um, my flour in here. Put my salt in first. Give it a mix. mix. Not a professional pie maker, that is for sure. I'm gonna wrap two balls and put them in the refrigerator for half an hour while I make my filling. Mm -hmm. 
Time to roll out the dough. Let's see if it rolls out. Now we get to make the fun part, the whipped cream. I had my mixing bowl and whip in the freezer to get cold. Usually I don't remember to do this part, but I did. I'm gonna use, what is this, one pint of heavy whipping cream. Couple of gulags of vanilla extract. Mm. And we're gonna start off using an eighth of a cup of powdered sugar. We'll taste it and see if it needs more. The only way it could get any better is if we had our own milking cow to make this from. Oh Pluto, do you think the blueberry pies for you? Oh, looks so delicious. Doesn't look too bad. Not perfect, don't look too close. Don't matter what it looks like, it all depends on what it tastes like. It's gonna be delicious with our whipped cream on it. Got it bubbled. Well, we had a holiday party to go to. The blueberry pie might not have looked the prettiest, but we tried. But it tasted delicious, and that's what matters. Well, the smoker is getting closer and closer to being done. I'm looking forward to smoking some things in it. What do you think should be one of the first things that we should try smoking in this new smokehouse? I have an idea, but I'm curious to see what you guys have for thoughts, too. I'm going to put a link in the video description down below. We're doing the 12 days of Christmas with Justin Rhodes, and we uploaded a video over there. If you guys want to check out the 12 free video classes that he's giving away from him and a, me and a few other homesteading YouTubers, you guys, you can click on the link down below, and then you'll have a chance to sign up for his Abundant Permaculture member website if you want. That'll be launching, I believe, in January 3rd or 5th. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. I hope your 2020 is off to a great year. Or should I say a great start? I know ours is. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.